Hello and welcome back. So today I will be filming the first update to my 18 in 2018 project pan. So I believe the first time we started with the How About Them Apples Lip and Cheek Cream Palette from the Balm. So this is my prog progress as of this month. I managed to hit pan in with the cider. And then I've been focusing my attention now that I've hit pan in cider and crisp. I just wanted to hit pan in all of these. Uh, I had been working on cider for a month almost prior to deciding to film videos. So I'm expecting crisp to take about a month and a half to two months to hit as well. Uh, there's a teeny tiny dip, it's kind of hard to see. So far the progress has been very slow since I started working on it, but it hasn't been bad. Uh, the top layer was a little bit stiffer, and now that I seem to be getting to, I guess, fresher product, it's going a little bit quicker. And then my... So that was products one through six in that one palette. And then products seven through nine are in this palette from the Champagne Skin Perfector Becca Jaclyn Hill Holiday Palette. Uh, my goals are to use up Pearl and Champagne Pop do hit pan in blushed copper which I've been using as an eyeshadow. I have a much bigger dip right now in blushed copper and I've been slowly wearing away uh, pearl and champagne pop. So if I just keep going with the way I'm going right now, hopefully in three more months I'll be able to use these two up because it's kind of slow going. I honestly didn't see much progress while I was using it until I checked my progress pictures today before filming. And then honestly, I think in a month or two I might have, I might be able to hit pan. I have not been able to wear eyeshadow the last week. My eye got irritated and even though it's no longer irritated, I haven't been risking putting anything near my eyes right now. It's precautionary measures. Um, so we'll be using eyeshadow hopefully in another two to three days as long as nothing reoccurs. So the most exciting progress I've made was what I said I was going to probably be able to finish which is the 100% pure fruit pigmented lipstick. And there's a hair in it. How attractive. So this is twisted all the way up. This is the plastic. So we are completely done. This did not take me long to finish. Like I said, it wouldn't. It was super soft and it wasn't very big to begin with. So completely done. Then the other two lip products I have here, one I made decent progress on and the other I didn't touch until today. So there's no progress on it. So the Mint to Be Minty Gluten Free Lip Gloss from Red Apple Lipstick in Honey Badger. We started here. I'm done here. I have taken the stopper out so I won't be able to take this with me to work anymore. But I was having a hard time getting to the bottom. So hopefully I can finish this up by the next update next month. It's going to be a little bit more slow going now because I can't take it to work. But conversely to that, I should be able to get more progress on my RMS Lip Shine and Sublime. Which, like I said, I have not been using because I took it to work in my work bag and promptly forgot about it. Yep. Good job there. progress on my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It's really good. I did not expect to make such good progress on it. So 
my line is up here. I don't know if you can see that very well. But now I'm all the way down here. So if I am using concealer again, which I should be once I'm sure my eye isn't gonna act up again, I should be able to finish this by next update, which is amazing. I did not expect to move through this as quickly as I have. my Beauty Basics Sahara Gold Eye Crayon. So this is a product I also didn't think I made as much like progress on as I actually did, but when I was taking uh, pictures today, I compared it against the previous picture I had taken of it to post to Instagram, and I've actually made like decent progress. It just doesn't look like it. I've been using this on top of eyeshadow primer before putting down something like the Shimmering Skin Perfector or the uh, Modern Minerals eyeshadow that we're about to look at. And it really holds those pigments to the eyelid in a way that's really helpful because you kind of need a stickier base for those. Now the Modern Minerals uh, loose shadow in Leo. This is the one that's kind of hard to show you guys. This pretty gold. I know I've made progress on this, but I can't see it. When I took pictures, conversely, it looks like I've made progress, but it's like a loose powder, so it's kind of hard to tell. And I can't like tip it on its side and just like mark where it is because the color all the way around the package has like made it impossible to tell. So I tried weighing it and weight-wise from one of the other shadows I have from Modern Minerals, that's the exact same size, that is completely unopened, they're weighing the same. So, can't really see any progress on this, which is a little bit discouraging, but I know I've been using it and I know I have progress, I just can't see it. I made really good progress on my California Mango Mango Magic Cuticle Oil. So we started up here, now we're down here which is really good progress for a cuticle oil. Uh, I spent a lot of time using this this last like month. Up until like the last week, I just kind of like fizzled out. I put it in my work bag and forgot to use it. Again, good job there. Then this will be done by the next update. This is the Marc Jacobs uh, Deluxe Sample Eyeliner. we got for a birthday gift two years ago. This is super exciting. It's a itty bitty bit is all I got left. And if my eye hadn't acted up, maybe I could have even had this done. I'm surprised that I'm going through this as quickly as I am because I'm not a huge eyeliner person. I've just been trying to almost every time I've been using my makeup, so I throw it at myself. Every time I've been using my makeup, I've been just trying to use it in some way. Normally it's like uh, tight lining, which I don't care to do, but it's not that bad. And I've just been making steady progress, I guess. And then the last item in my pan project is the DKNY, the delicious um, Scentbird perfume. So when I went to pull this out of the atomizer to chart progress, uh, the top popped off because I break everything, apparently. <laughs> so I had to get pliers and pull it out. So hopefully I can finish this relatively soon because that's a little bit irritating. If I want to take it with me to work, I have to put it in the atomizer and then I have to take it out with pliers. So we can hope. But I started all the way up here, and now I'm down to here. So maybe if I push myself, I can finish this up. I don't know if I am. I'm not a huge perfume, a perfume person to begin with, but that was really good progress with just like intermittent use. So we just have to try a little bit harder, just, just a little bit. All right. 
so that was everything for my 18 and 2018 project pan. I think if I get three more items done by next update, I'll roll something in. I'm not sure because I know a couple of the pro uh, products I picked were more gimme-ish and some of them are going to be here for the long haul. Like I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit pan on everything in the How About Them Apples uh, lip and cheek palette. We will see. If, like I said, if I work through three more products, I'll try and roll something in. Like, if I work through a perfume, I have a couple more perfumes we can add in. I'm just not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the bell if you want to. My outros are so awkward still. Probably been flashing you guys with the blinding glasses light. For that I am sorry. So <laughs> that's everything for now and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.